Hello, this is Craig Arno here, and this is a live guide to the Orchard Sweep category for Witcher 3. This is the shortest of all the official recognized categories on speedrun.com. Typically, you'll be looking at, when you're first jumping in, 26 minutes, but when you get competitive, you might be at around 23, 24 minutes. So, it's a very short category, but it's very RNG filled, so big warning when you jump into this category it's very rng heavy surprisingly so um so before we jump in some housekeeping when i hit tab you see that this blue auto appears in the top left of your screen that is basically that is auto hotkey and it's basically a dialogue skipper rather than having to spam space and right click we decided well we i wasn't part of the community at this point the community decided to make this macro to skip through all the dialogue so that way it isn't painful to play through the game. So, you know, when a dialogue comes up, you just hold, for me, tab, you bind whatever key you want to it, bind it, and then it will skip through all of your, it will skip through all of the dialogue up until you need to make choices. So, without further delay, let's get into it. So we start off by making a new, a fresh save file. So, this run starts off in Cairnborn like any fresh save game starts off <clears throat> so we're going to skip through this cutscene to start off with and we're in care more so we're going to then so we're going to as you can see over there you'll see that little sparkle there that's a key and we need that key to go through that door there because we have to go downstairs so we're going to align ourselves to this chair here punch roll into the corner examine the key pick it up open the doors and then do the same down the stairs sometimes girl won't completely do it completely continuously roll so he'll typically just jump in which case punch again and he'll start rolling again um for this dialogue hit two just spam two because you will see here it will skip tutorial prompts so and we don't need to do those those are all, those are time wasters and we've completed cameron it's a very simple opening naturally So, I, we continue to spam 2 here with the dialogue with Vesemir. Once we're out, switch to Igni. I have a bounce to you personally, but you can use your scroll wheel or whatever. And then ride down the hill. Ride down the because you can abandon Vesemir easily and just ride down the hill towards the beach through this little gap here. And you'll see that these drowners here make a swing quick attack on them and you'll occasionally hit it not as often use igni on the rest of them because there will be three that will spawn and a fourth will the fourth one will spawn after you kill one which is what happened there finish off all the drowners as so and you will loot these chests this is a guarded treasure the first of the run um because uh, one of the things you need to do for the run is resolve all the points of interest this is as simple as you know just looting the chest because as you can see it's grayed out it grayed out after looting the chest so not everything you need to do in the run requires you to kill enemies surrounding it um <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is after that is look around for a corpse that we can loot and get a drowner brain this will come up later in the run switch to hard and mount roach once again continue to ride along the beach because i was slow there she got further up the beach she's usually not that far away um dismount and as you can see here um there's a bridge the trigger for the cutscene where we first meet the griffin um is up there we need to get up there because we're on here down here simple way to do it is run up to this rock here jump towards the bridge and there we go once we're in control jump to the right and there we go spam two here because if we get two here he will give us 50 crowns for what we did because we saved him from the griffin Mount Roach, and then right off to the inn as normal. Lost a so once, so before we arrive at the inn itself, um, or as we get into the courtyard of it, make sure to dismount because there will be a cutscene that will play of you dismounting. So if we do that, as it fades to black, sorted. For this one, spam one and four. We'll hit one and four, not spam it. Black one's been uh, go around the corner to meet the notorious G.O.D. himself and just spam one through his dialogue. None of your business. And then, so outside, didn't trigger it, 
So as you can see outside, there's two people. And I think there's, if we go through the other window, there'll be one more guy leaning against the thing. Yep. So those three guys are going to want to fight with us. Now, when I get into the cutscene with them, um, that's typically where I split here. Though I recently got rid of this opening split, but it's up to you if you want to have it. The guide is already written with that in mind. I'm not going to change it. Um, <clears throat> so, typical, so what's going to happen here is I'm going to go outside. They're going to threaten me. And you'll see what happens. So I'll typically split when the dialogue gets after I hit three. Split would happen here. Now these guys are going to want to fight me, but I'm not interested in fighting them. You can just dodge them to the left and just right away. Taking the left there is far better because whilst you could just take the right side where the guys um, axied, because that's what hitting three does, it axes the other guy, so it makes the fight, you know, with one less person. Um, what happens there, it pushes the AI closer to the horse to roach, therefore it's harder to make your escape. If you run to the left, however, it pushes them to the right. Therefore it makes a nice clean gap for you to consistent clean gap for you to get out of. So we ride up the road, take a left here and miss dismount. I'm gonna to speak to Willis at his blacksmith. It has been burnt down by someone and he wants to me to find arsonist behind it. So go across the road, we're gonna get the twisted fire star side quest. And we're gonna ride jump on Roach here, who should always be here. And you know, typically he'll jump she'll jump over this um, fence. I'm gonna get off about here because this is where we get the very kill. This is where we go and get the contract for Devil by the Well. Now if you kind of approach from this side and jump, didn't happen here, sometimes you'll get a nice boost through the door. That'll just send you to right in front of them really quickly if you get it, but it's really hard and I've not found a way to consistently get it. But jump through there anyway because I think it's slightly, just slightly faster than walking in. So we're going to go and do the best side quest in White Orchard. This is where we need Ard, blow down the door, oh, dear. speak to her. Or she'll speak to you. You should wait. Go here, inside. Just in case. Huh. Examine the pan. What's that? A corpse. Explains this. And then speech. talk to her again, yeah, and that's you completed the quest. The best side quest in Witcher. So frying pan, spick and span has been completed. So we're gonna take out our silver and ride around to the right. And you'll see two drowners there. Now in this case, they're actually wandering away, so this is good. Show me what you got. Oh, I think I just got into combat with them. No, I didn't. So, gonna stop there. So typically, you'll fight these drowners. Very typically. Um, <clears throat> I haven't got the, the statistics of how often they walk away, but sometimes they will do that. So that's something to keep an eye on. If they look like they're walking away, then just move on past them whilst getting Roach on this bridge here. And loot the key. Jump into the water. And you'll see that there's a chest here. Swim over it. No, you're not going to get it. In which case, typically just get on top of it and then you go, you unlock it. Read the blood soaked military orders and you've got Temerian Valuables quest. And get back on Roach again. The reason why we put her on this bridge here is because if we get into combat, she will not start to run around and run away. So we're going to ride up into, these, into the forest here towards this place of power. Imagine. She's going to dismount, and I think she went a bit too far away there, so if you get her right next to it, and in the right, and if you have your camera angled correctly, you'll sometimes be able to skip the animation of, um, you'll sometimes be able to skip the animation of getting up in the place of power and just don't directly mount onto her. <coughs> so, this is where I'll put, this is where you put your first um, level into, because you're only level one, and you get a level from that, from that place of power. I'm going to put it into Griffin Skill Techniques because at the start of the game, you're wearing nothing but medium armor. Therefore, your signs are uh, are far better and they regen quicker. So that's why we put it into Griffin Skill Technique because it increases intensity and stamina regen by 5% each armor. So that's about 20% increase. I'm going to talk to this merchant, hit one, skip through his dialogue. He wants us to get his box back um, from the swamp. And you'll see that there's some drowners here, so you might need to play it by ear because here's the cart. You'll find the cart, and you'll see that box right over there by the tree. Um, me that there you go. He mentioned. You can only loot it when you've got Witcher sensors on. Human blood. Sometimes there'll be drowners around you, so you need to really play it by eye as to you know going in and getting it because you are not able to collect things whilst in combat stance. We're then going to ride over to here. 
dismount and get this not so guarded treasure. <laughs> Typically, there'll be a, sometime, there's meant to be a water hag here, but doesn't seem to be the case here. But there's a bandit camp over yonder. We're going to do this. You're going to pull out your Gideon. steel sword and you're going to aim for the guy that's to the right here, closest to the tent. Swing, hit him. Right. And then hope for these guys to kind of arrange themselves into a neat queue. They're not going to, so just igni the two you got there. And then finish off the last guy. Loot the chest, and there you go. The ideal is that after killing that one guy, whilst you're on horseback, you dismount, and they'll get into a nice three-man queue for you to just igni the hell down. But that is, was unfortunately not the case there. Talk to the merchant, give back Ooh. his box, and you complete a precious cargo. Get back Faster. on Roach, and ride into the swamp. This is another upcoming guarding treasure with wolves around it. Whilst on Roach, you want to make sure to aim for the wag and make a swing for him whilst on. So, wag's in the middle, there's in a weird position, but we're going to go for him. And I missed, so just dismount. Your backup here is getting a biggie, but for some reason it missed, don't know why. So this is the reason why you want to get the wag whilst on horseback or with Igni, because it is a tank. It is level 5, you are level 1. So, you are going to struggle um, if you have to, it's going to take a while to cut down. So that's why you prioritize them, and the wolves will usually fall in a few shots. Loot these two chests, and one in the cart, the other not. And then run over to here. Roach is in a bad position, so what we're going to do is whistle, get over here, punch, and then roll into the water. Because it's quicker than you having to, like, walk in normally. I'm going to use some water to recover some strength. Now you see that there's a boat here. This little boat here, that's where the spoils of war is. But So whilst we're going to get that, we're going to turn around a bit. We're also going to get this. We're going to get some buckthorn. We need this in order to uh, bait the griffin out. So that's what we'll do here. We'll then swim back up to the surface and back towards the garrison. Now, for this gar now for this, we're going to You'd usually, in a casual playthrough, um, sometimes this will happen, the animation will bug out or whatever. So in a normal playthrough, you would ride through this arch and go through the front door where you'll be meeting with the cutscene and you have to talk to the guards and all that, all that nonsense. But you don't need to do that. <laughs> if we kind of go um, along here ride along the mountain, looking at the map here for any drowners, there are none, this is good. And stop here, there's a little indent in the wall with the... Uh, an indent in the hill with this piece of wall in the ground. We're gonna run up to here, line ourselves up relative to the foliage, run, jump... That was a bad run. <laughs> I'm good at this, I swear. Make a run up here, jump, roll up the hill, and then climb over. You are now inside the garrison. And you didn't need to do the cutscene. So, so when you jump inside, so they must um, try and, if you want to, get this um, grindstone, but if you miss it when you jump in, I wouldn't prioritize it. Go into this chest here. Watch it. Now you'll see that there's saltpeter at the bottom here. You're going to need this for bombs. So collect that. Everyone will aggro onto you, but it's fine because you're going to roll inside here, and they will de-aggro when you're done. So you're going to hit one, 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 two, three. Basically, what's going to happen is, after you've split and got out of the cutscene, is to, you'll jump over this, onto this little canopy, uh, aim for the corner, though it's a bit weird because it moves on, aim for this corner, jump, and sometimes you'll, you want to aim to be, to land flat on this little piece of the wall here, jump off, and then jump down to here, to oh. the sign. Skip the cutscene, use the fast travel, go to the sawmill. We're then gonna punch roll up the hill. This isn't ideal, but because you can't run yet. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna run to here. You can see that there's a tree here, and to the right, a bag. You look inside that, dwarven spare. We need that dwarven spare for what we're about to do. Outside the hut, whistle for roach, go inside. You will see that Tamira is here. And also someone who looks worse for wear. We're gonna talk yes. to her. We're gonna ask her about the griffin, about the woman, and it was the griffin that did it. We're then going to go into the shop, buy two calcium, no more, very expensive, and then you can spam by the sulfur and the silidine right there. Um, <clears throat> the calcium and sulfur are going to be used to make bombs, and this one is going to be used to make 
uh, the potion, Swallow, which is what we need to drown our brain from for earlier. Craft the grape shot in the alchemy menu. And then the Swallow. We're not going to craft the second bomb we need yet. That will come just later. Exit the menu, hit 3 to, to exit the dialogue, talk to her yes. again. And there you go. You have completed on death's bed. Mount Roach. <clears throat> Turn around. Equip the grape shot because we're going to be. This is going to be an offensive bomb for the for the run. Whenever we can, we're going to try and use that to kill as many things as we can. Swap and coming is an abandoned site, which we got it by typically four girls, but in this case, it's usually uh, three. Stench. So I'm going to wind up, throw the bomb. Got two of them. Try and get as many as you can with that bomb, and then hopefully the fourth one will spawn after killing them, and then finish them off. That was a decently quick fight. Sometimes you'll get all three in the um, that bomb throw, and it's very cool. But more often than not, you'll get one or two. Jump over the fence here and ride it along past the Neckers and the Wolves and such. <clears throat> kind of aim right of this Nilfgaard camp here, and we got ourselves Archie the Archer. We love him. He is a king. He stands post. And we're kind of going to angle ourselves at a specific... And we're going to make ourselves go at a specific angle. Use that tree, that tall tree on the left as an angle and that as a marker and then walk past these three trees here wind up the bomb, because as you'll see here everyone will spawn, throw the bomb and everybody's dead and that's the bandit camp, sorted loot the chest, resolved very quick way to do that bandit camp very quick way to do it so we're then going to write to this place of power and down dismount, equip Yurden for what we're about to do, power. and just collect it be the hill towards the griffin griffin's nest now what typically we go with the least? hunter to go here but you can go straight here also if we go into the dialogue you'll see these four options about examining wounds age determine the type whatever if we hit four Demolate. he'll have searched it Should so you do this quickly meditate the way you do the quick meditate is i'll show this off hit n to go into your meditate menu up on the d-pad or on, not the d-pad, your arrow keys, hit enter, hit n again, and then throw down your, and then throw down your sign. So we're then going to go into the bomb menu here, and we're going to see Dancing Star. It produces a fire explosion that can destroy monster nests. That's what this bomb is going to be doing for the majority of the run, but we will be using it one more time for an offensive measure later in the run. Craft it, and whistle for Roach. Now, we aren't going to equip that bomb just yet. There's no point in doing that, because when you're using a destroy monster nest, it doesn't need to be equipped in your um, hot bar. You can stay in your infantry, and it will destroy monster nests. So we're going to ride on with Roach, and we're going to aim for this little triangle here. The infamous well. Yep, that's a good spot. Strange. No sign of a ghost. Because if any further, when you fight the devil, Roach will run away and then spawn over there. So we're going to look Bodies at this gill. Grass around Speak of the grass, scorched. All signs and then jump into the well. Wave. Dive under, and we're going to take an ornate bracelet. We need that for the quest. Jump out the water. Once we're able to move our camera, a turn body. around, then we'll see a body. Can't reach it from here. And then we're going to go to the front and just leave the cave as normal. Try and dive in. Sometimes it will do that. Instead of diving, it's weird. If you don't time it right, Geralt won't dive in. He'll just kind of, like, weirdly fall in. So for the upcoming fight, um, basically the how it will go is you will throw down Yurden onto the ground, which makes the Noon Wraith capable of being hit. And then once you throw that down, as soon as you can, throw the bomb your grape shot has her. That will most, more than like, that will pretty much kill her in one shot. And then, so what you're going to do is come out the water, look in your bestiary, and read the Devil by the Wraith, the <laughs> Devil by the Well, and Noon Wraith Something's entries. Tied the noon wraith to and then we're just going to run back to the well. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. And then leap over the fence. Now, be careful here, because if you, um, if you miss hit E, or don't hit E here, and but go straight to your AHK, you're going to jump into the well, because of the same... Um, you know, it hits the same key required to jump. So hit E, once you're in the cutscene, spam away. Examine the body. Then the fight ensues. Quickly throw down your Yurden. You might get hit here. 
and then finish her off. And then typical I'd split here. You know, maybe you'll get it after um, that. She's so gone. switch to your Igni, good. put away your sword either on foot or on the horse, and then ride ahead. Um, kind of ride out. Here. Towards this tree trunk. Dismount. And don't run, power. because what's going to be going to see it. here is a bear that's asleep. In this case, I was in a combat stance, but he won't be coming after us. Sometimes that'll happen, just sit and wait or stop, get a place of power, and then leave. If you run Faster. towards that, the bear will be awake and will aggro. So we're going to follow this dirt path. We're going to see some girls. I'm going to take a swing, miss, that's a shame. Um, take on all the girls. Somehow that guy got hit by Igni, and then throw the bomb at it. What now, you piece of film? And then meditate so you can spawn the final gill, burn it with your Igni to get out of the animation of standing up, and then finish it off with your silver. And then that's how that fight goes. So we're then going to ride away on Roach towards, you know, by the coast, towards this destroyed boat on the land. Now, typically, now, thing is... Right here, I would be aggro to them, typically. But because I'm in the water here, I don't get aggroed, and I can loot this chest. Then, and that's it. That's simple as. So, punch roll into the water. Punch roll out of the water. And then, whistle for Roach. Now, for this that's upcoming, you're going to have to watch out, because there's a bandit camp upcoming, and you're going to use a bomb to kill as many as possible. Watch out for the foliage. Believe me, it can be a bit of a run killer if that happens. Line everyone up and then throw. Somehow a few survived, which is typical what will happen. There will be some stragglers. That was more so than usual here. That took out them, and there you go. Loot this chest. That guy was having a real good time. No matter. Mount back on Roach. And continue up the coast. And jump into the to this bridge. Come out. Loot these boxes. Loot all six of these boxes. And then that'll be that treasure gone. And now we're going to ride up towards the village. This is where we're going to get <coughs> the quest missing in action, which is what the split is called. So what we're going to do is uh, take a left here. There, dismount, Roach. making sure Roach has passed this wall. Otherwise, after we've talked to him... She will just Do that be coming towards us. And we'll basically... Basically, this, what this quest is going to happen is we search the battlefield with him and we help find his brother. But we're not going to be doing that. Uh, we're first going to ride over to here, to this bandit cat, to this bandit hideout. And we're going to try and get up to there. I'm going to pause the game here because we're against the clock here. Um, <clears throat> and I'll explain that in due course. Basically, we need to run up here, jump up there, and go inside that window. That is what we're supposed to do here, so hopefully I'll get this first time. In fact, you know what? I'm going to drop a quick save. Uh, run, jump, and we got it. Then we're going to jump into this window. Sometimes Geralt will do that. Blow your then quick throw your bomb and kill the bandit leader. Put this chest in the corner. Sometimes the chest will be a bit weird. And then read the book inside. And note on that bit, sometimes if you kind of look on the right, the side as you approach on that side, there will be a bandit there that when you climb in and throw the bomb at that guy will stop you from looting the chest. Your best course of action is probably going out that window and igneing them and then climbing back in. Um, that's how probably best to deal with that. So we're then going to continue up the road. Now I mentioned earlier we're against the clock and the reason why is what's going to ha happen for these next two points of interest. We're at a bandit camp. There's nobody here. I'm in combat for some reason. But that's fine. Um, that was a bandit camp. Where were the bandits, you might ask? Well, you might ask the same question when we get to this monster nest that's coming up, because there will be no one here as well. Ideally, anyway. Yep, there's nobody here. Good. Boom Just gonna then nest. drop our first dancing star destroyed. in there, and there we go. Why is there nobody there? Well, when you get... Well, when you establish the quest, missing in action... The guy you talk to will make his way to the battlefield. You'll see him on the right there, maybe. 
Um, and that will stop, and that will not trigger the spawns of anyone in those two places. Make sure to dismount here before the cutscene, because again, you'll get the animation of Geralt dismounting. Uh, get back on Roach again, and then right back towards the road in this kind of direction, where you will see um, so this guy here. So in that, so back there, we talked to Bastion and the person and the Nilf Guardian who saved him in the battle. We're then going to tell him where they I are, found Bastion. tell him we found him, and then now will complete the missing action quest. Now we're going to ride out onto the battlefield. We're going to ride across the battlefield. Uh, bonus points if you don't get stopped by any of the debris on here, because, you know, Roach can get stuck in a few things here. So we're going to dismount Roach about here. Place what we're going to do is we're going to make a wide, take a it. wide berth around everything. Let's snipe this place of power. There's a monster nest here, and there's some bills around it. They should not nest. typically be aggro it. to you. So we're then going to jump over this hill. There's a roach. Meditate. It mounts up. Get up. Now, for this bit here, you're going to jump up to here, and then you get up onto here. Make sure to jump near the top, because that velocity of the jump will carry on vertically as well as horizontally and you will get up there more often than not if you time it well enough. Sometimes with enough speed you'll get up there, but it's easier to do that. Get to this bandit camp, throw a bomb, make sure to hit the shield down right, okay, bastard! and then just finish off the rest of the people at the camp. That guy just got lucky. And then of course, you know, you do a finisher there because even though you've turned it off, it doesn't matter. Um, you then go inside this tent, loot the chest, run back out and then Roach will be here roughly anyway maybe not I'm not gonna say will but sometimes we'll be there you're then gonna come across this tent um, we're then gonna dismount hopefully there's no wolves nearby there typically isn't we're gonna loot this box here get a spy note read it and then also if you want to get this alcoholist um, just in case you think you have ran out of alcohol for the rest from the run we're then going to take a wide berth, come across here, and you'll see some wolves. Uh, make a throw of the bomb. So they were pretty spread out. Typically they'll be kind of together. And for any stragglers, kind of finish them off with Igni or the sword. So that was a pretty poor camp there, but it is what it is. Read the scrolled notes you'll get from the chest. And then ride off. Ride off towards this hut here next to the right of this windmill. <clears throat> now you're going to have to switch to Ard before going inside, because when you go inside, you turn to the right, there'll be a hole in the floor and a door. If you quickly meditate, so you get your bombs back and Ard, you'll open the door. Loot these four chests as quick as you can, and there you go. You have completed most of your treasure quests required. Come on. <clears throat> so, get your silver out and go towards the graveyard, because you're about to encounter... A nice little wraith next to this point. Medallion's humming. So what we're going to do is uh, throw a bomb, which will blow the door open behind him, and then run down here. What we're going to then do is switch to Igni. Fire, bomb, and there you go. Two shots, she's typically gone. Loot the chests here. So the game's bugged out, so I'm going to read these notes. You're going to read this. Yeah, so you're going to want to read uh, the letter from Colgrim. Typically, the game doesn't bug out, and you should be able to do it with normal, but for some reason it did. And that will complete the quest to of Winter School Gear. Oh, it did pop up there. It's weird. So then after that, we're going to go back into our menu, <coughs> into our level up screen, and put a level into Heavy Artillery. Bomb damage is increased by 200%, but you have half the number of bombs. So this means that we will have only half our grape shots. But this is fine. We're then going to leap over the wall. <clears throat> I'll go through the wall. Get our silver sword out. Watch for any gills. So there's one over there. I think there's one probably behind the wall. Just missed that other one. And then you're going to kill the pair of them. place of power. Go around to here, nest. get this gill nest. Ought to just destroy it. And then we're off. Then what we're gonna do is take Roach. Go, go. And we're gonna ride off the map. Because what Take's happens is when you go too far away out of the bounds of the map, 
it will take you into the map screen and you're able to use signposts. So we just go back to Wolfson Bridge and that's the treasure sweep split. And that's when you'd split. So once you gain control, Foot dismount, prints. look at the footprints, Amen. jump. Lovely. This is where Twisted Fire Star. Get to these set of footprints, meditate. Something jumped out of and the then rushes. Stop it again. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Run towards the inn, jump up the fence into the courtyard, Road speak man. to Vesemir. Yes. I go one, two, one, one. And then that will set the quest for you to go and kill the griffin. But we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to go over to this house here. The trail ends go here. inside. But and you'll see a nap. By his wounds. <clears throat> nap is the man who caused the fire. Marks. So what we're going to do is we're going to it's gotta be him. speak to him, spam one. Nasty woo. And what we're going to do is we're going to have him swing at us and parry it. Well, like so. You're gonna make and then wait. strong attack, strong attack. And that will typically kill him. Ow. Or will knock him down, sorry. Sometimes you might need there a third shot to finish the deal, but... More often than not, you will two shot. We're then going to backtrack like we did in the second split. Go across the fence here to this guy here. We're then going to hand him Devil by the Well. <clears throat> and we're going to wait till we get to a certain distance and summon Roach. Now we're going to go fight the Griffin. And this is where the Dancing Star comes in as an offensive tool. Ah. Now, I've already got a video up of how to do the fight, so I won't really explain it too much. But basically, in short, um, once we have get to Vesemir, we're then going, we're going to equip the Dancing Star, which will make it the active bomb, which is why we do it here. It makes it the active bomb in your menu like i will show it to you see it's the active bomb so when we get into this fight a stream we're going to throw that stream. first Just switch place. to the depth to the grape shot ambush. wait for the health to go down by a third and then quick throw the grape shot which should hopefully finish her off watch me mess it up here watch out so quick throw not ideal but ooh. damn it's fast! For some reason, it was being weird. Oh, too late. Yeah, it was too late. Okay, so that went wrong. Watch out! So, we then throw the bomb. Oh, wait for that health to pass, and then boom. Easy. So, yeah, it's simpler, but you need to kind of practice the timing. This is better than the previous way we'd approach this by... Uh, running up to uh, him, sorry, casting Igni, swinging at him with our sword to about half health, and finish it off with a grape shot. That is not, this is much consistent and quicker. I do say consistent, I swear it is some, I don't know why I messed up that time. So we're then going to get into a dialogue, press one, uh, go up to the loot, and do that, go into the cutscene, Mount Roach. Come I'm going to ride off to the signpost to go back to the Nilfgaard garrison and hand in our quest, our bounty. We have fulfilled our end of the bargain. We have kill, killed the griffin, and he. now we're going to get the person who tells where Yen is. So we're going to teleport to here. Don't be I don't know why I punched there, but if you do that, it's a bit of a risk because there's guards there. That was surprisingly quick, but again, I wouldn't recommend it. So we're going to speak to him, spam one. And then that will complete that quest. We'll know where Yen is. And we're going to go back to the inn. We're then going to jump out. Go down this hill towards the signpost. We're then going to roll forward. Jump back into the courtyard. And we're going to go into combat. Now, at this point, we're going to have a uh, combat with about six or seven guys. In here, what we're gonna do is is skip through all this and destroy the room. You need to kill. You, you can have at least two left before that goes wrong. Before that doesn't carry on. So we then meet Yen. We're gonna. Okay. She's gonna tell us to come to Vizima to meet the Emperor, and then this end the run. Tale begins near White Orchard. That's where the run ends. My dear friend Geralt of When this cutscene pops. Lover of your, so, so we're gonna skip through this. It, just spam your way through this dialogue and then what you're going to do is you'll check your journal and no outstanding quest so you're good go onto the map 
go to white orchard zoom out and look if everything's grayed out which it looks to be so and then that's you completed the run so yeah it's a so that is in essence uh what this run is about it's in theory very simple but very rng heavy very rng heavy so yeah so that is the run in its entirety thank you for watching and i hope this helps you in the runs that you do and good luck